my name is neepa mangat welcome to yoga for immunity so after battling with her ibs and asthma for years chalini's life took a 100 degree 80 turn when she adopted the whole food plant based diet chalini goenka is a certified yoga teacher from the yoga institute of mumbai university and a holistic lifestyle coach and she's also a diabetic educator She's been working in the health and fitness field uh, since 2006. Through her experience of working in gyms and with doctors and yoga institutes, and through changes in her own lifestyle, she has motivated clients from all over the world to reach their highest health potential. And she guides them step by step to make shifts in diet, reducing medicines, physical exercise regime and lifestyle changes. She believes that con uh, the conscious shift to a holistic lifestyle is the key to eradicate any disease and increase your immunity. So yoga is not just asanas, but it's a way of life. So we welcome you all to this class. Good morning everyone. Okay, fine. So, um, my health journey started way back in 2006 when I had a health collapse in my body in 2005, then when I decided to take my health in my own hands. So then I joined Yoga Institute Santa Cruz, I did my teacher's training, one year teacher's training course from Yoga Institute Santa Cruz and Mumbai University. Then I did uh, join America. American College of Sports Medicine Nutrition Counseling course in 2010. Then I did my certified personal training course uh, from Exercise Science Academy, again, ACSM certified. And I'm a facilitator and a holistic health coach with uh, Sharon now for almost more than three years. So I welcome you all for this session of Yoga for Immunity. So what exactly is immunity? Our immunity consists of stress hormones too. So yoga is a holistic lifestyle and asana practice is one of the components of this lifestyle which gives a gentle support to your immune system on a day-to-day -day basis. So today we'll be focusing on asana practice because we know that holistic lifestyle not only includes asana, pranayama, meditation but the way we eat, we drink, we think, we talk, all holistically and, you know, impacts the immune system. So any uh, yoga helps lower the stress hormones by gently conditioning the lungs and the respiratory tract and then increases the immunity of lymphatic system too, which also toxins from your body. So if you have any cold, flus, any type of flus or respiratory infections on and off, it is a sign of the weakened immune system. And asana practice, strengthening your asana practice is one of a part of a holistic lifestyle. So today I'll be teaching, demonstrating you vinyasa flow type of a yoga, which is suitable for the beginners and for the people who have been doing yoga for quite some time. And I hope you all know there are certain risks uh, involved when we are doing yoga on the Zoom. So it's just totally uh, a participant's responsibility if any injury or risk is there when you're participating on Zoom. Because I won't be able to monitor each and every person today. It's just my general instructions and I'll be demoing the, all the asanas. So let's start with Simple Sushma Vyayam or simple plain warm ups. Okay, so everyone stand with the uh, feet either together or one feet distance apart. Gently, I turn my head to the right and to the left. To the right. To the left, to right, and to left. Now I give a gentle clockwise and anti clockwise movement. So starting from the center, rotate towards the right, 
and back, right, and center. Checking out your knee. Inhale, and exhale. Other side, empty clockwise. Okay. Now I'm changing a uh, shrug of the shoulder, taking my shoulder up to my ears and chopping it down. Up and down. Up and down. Now gentle rotation of my shoulders. One, two, three, four, five. Anti-clockwise. One, two, three, Four, five. Now, general stretches. Whenever I'm doing my sectional vyayam, my belly button is gently tucked in, chin parallel to the floor, and my head, neck, and back in one straight line. Okay, now anti clockwise. Two, three, four, five. Hands extended forward. Opening of my Fingers, palms, close. Out and close. Open, close. Open, close. Palm. Hands on the shoulder level. In and out. In and out. In and out. Now I interlock my fingers in front of my chest. And stretch as far as I can. One, two, three, four, five. Take it up gently and stretch up as if someone is pulling you from up as high as I can. Yes. And release. Now interlock your fingers at the back and pull it down. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I take my right hand and left hand sliding up from behind, interlocking my fingers and stretch. Two, three, four, five. Release. On the other side. So your one side is always a little flapper than the other side. Yes. If you want, you can take a napkin or if you want, you have a belt. If you all use it, you can take the help of a belt too. For whom it is difficult, you can take support of the props, a belt or a napkin, whatever is comfortable. Release. Now palms on your waist and a gentle hip rotation, trunk movements. Two clockwise and anti clockwise. Three, four, and five. Other side. One, two, three, four. Five. Nipa, someone's background uh, noise is there. We can just mute them, please. Shalini, I've muted everyone. Okay. Okay, now gently bend your knees, cupping your kneecaps with your palms, a gentle rotation of your knees. Make it very gentle. Four, five, reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. Now gentle stretch of your 
cause. If you want, you can take the support of a wall or just simply take hold of your ankle and stretch. You can take a support of your wall, anyone if you want. Yeah. So the front of your thighs are stretched. Release. Other side. Do you feel the stretch in front of your thighs? Yeah. Yeah. Release. Now, ankle rotation. If you can lift your ankles a little and clockwise and to clockwise. So, these are simple warm up exercises. Other side. Other leg. Relax. Now we are going to start up with some little more intense warm up. That will be your modified Surya Namaskar. So come in front of your mats. Inhaling. Go to Tanasana. And relax. Inhaling once again, extended with the Tadasana. Now, bending your knees or keeping it straight, go into Tadasana. Your hands by the sides of your feet. Next, straight or bend, however you are comfortable. Exhaling, right leg, next step back to lunge. Palms firmly on the floor. Hips down. Other leg. Back to Adhumokshvanasana. See that your hips are way back. And if you can put adjust your feet to keep your feet grounded. Arms firmly planted on the floor on your mat. And look down. Inhaling. Come forward into a plank. So here now, either you are here or knees down and you go into Chaturanga Asana. Now here you are, my only chin, chest and knees are on the ground, feet. Hips are up. Inhaling. I go into Bhujanga Asana or Cobra Pose. Or if I want, I can come into Up Dog. Adho Mukha Asana. Gently tucking my toes, exhaling, go back into downward dog. So this will be my flow once again. I come forward, inhaling, exhaling. Now my palms are close to my chest. Inhaling, come up into upward dog. Look up. Exhaling, tucking your toes. Go back into Adho Mukha downward dog. Right leg in between your hands. Hips down. Take a deep breath in. Other leg together in Uttarasana. Now my hands are on my shins. Flat back extend. Adhutanasana. Look forward. Bending my knees, taking my hips back into Utkatasana. Intense pose. Inhaling. Come up and baby back bend. Okay. I go back into Utkatasana exhaling. So that's the flow. Now you jump back or step back into Adho Mukha Asana. So this is your out breath here. Look way back. Come forward into a plank, Kumbhakasana. 
Now keeping your arms firmly planted, either your knees or toes, go down. Inhaling, come up into upward dog. Ardha Mukhshwanasana. Look up. Tuck your toes. Downward dog again. Exhaling. Right step, come forward. Look up. Left leg, forward. Uttanasana. Hands to shins. Flat back and slim. So here you're always searching for more length. Letting your knees. Inhaling into Uttanasana. Intense force. Searching for more power here. Inhaling, come up into a BB back bend. Exhaling, come forward. Uttanasana. Step back again into downward dog. Now monitor your back. Focus gently. Go down. Now the power comes. Strength and lips gradually inhaling. Come up into upward dog. Tuck your toes. Go back to downward dog. One more time. Come forward into a plank. Going down into Inhale, come into upward dog. Back into downward dog. Left leg lunges forward. Other leg forward in between the hands into Kamasana. Hands to the shin, searching for more length. Bending your knees, sitting way back into Uttarasana. Intense pose. Inhaling, come up, turn your palms into baby back bend. Exhaling, release your palms, interlock your fingers at the back, and press. Down. Gently. And release. Let's all take a seat. Now we do some hip openers. Plant both your feet down. Lift your butt up and tuck one leg, one ankle on your knee. Now Gently come forward and put your butts down. So where do you feel the stretch? Do you still do you still feel your butt a little stretch? Yeah. Okay. See how we are here today. Now gently lighten the pressure on your palms. If you lighten the pressure on your palms. Your body comes forward, right? Where do you feel the stretch? On your thighs? And you can still feel your butt. Inhaling. A deep breath in. Look up. Exhaling. Come forward a little, tapping your chin to your chest. So please keep on your butt. Yeah? Now here we're going to add Padmasana. Gently drop your leg. That's your add Padmasana. So today your feet is either on your knees, your thighs, or your shins, wherever calf you're comfortable. Once so you're here, the opposite hand goes on the opposite knee. And we go for a gentle twist. Exhaling, look back over your shoulders. Inhaling, 
lift your back palm and C shape your spine. So right to keep the stretch from your butt, right coming up to your fingertips. And release. Now other side. So both my feet are on the floor. So previously if it was a right leg on your left foot, now left foot on your right knee. Lift your butt. And come forward and drop your butt. That's it. Beautiful release of your hip flexors. Inhaling. Lift up your chest. Open the chest. Exhaling. Lighten the weight on your palms and chin to your chest. Come forward. I can feel the beautiful stretch all around my hip flexors and thighs. Just focus on your breathing a little bit. Release your leg and drop your foot to the other side. So again, you have to do Ardh Padmasana or half seated lotus pose. Now my opposite arm crosses the opposite knee. Inhaling, lift up, exhaling, look back over your shoulders. A gentle spiral movement and twist to your body. Just look as far as you can. Keep your chin in and release. Join the soles of your feet together into a butterfly pose or bhadrasana. If you can, take hold of your feet. Inhaling, exhaling, try to touch your feet to the ground. Or gently get a very little up and down flapping moment of your knees. Just leave it your breath for a little. Here. I take my front leg, one which is close to the camera, in front and go back to a lunge. But one leg goes way back. The leg which is in the front, my knee and ankle are in one straight line. See that your knees are not popping forward to protect your knees. Your ankle and knee are in one straight line. Then do some twists and turns here. Opposite hand crosses the other knee. And if anyone wants, please keep a cushioning under your knee. If your knee is, you know, stressing down more, keep a cushioning. Once I cross this, I try to push my shoulder way back so that I get a more opening on my chest and take my hand at the back. If anyone wants, please take a cushioning under your knees or take a support. Take a support of a brick or any other prop if you want. See that you lift your chest more. Now I plant my other hand on the floor, tuck my toes and lift my leg here and open my arms. Look up to your fingertips. If you want, you can tuck your 
knees down again or stay up as you feel comfortable. Now I pivot to the other side of the room. From the back, so that my opposite leg is in the front. And then take a lunge here. My opposite elbow is outside the other knee. Open my arms and twist. You can keep your knees down or take it up as you feel comfortable. Great. Come forward. Put the other palm on the ground. Tuck your toes, lift your knee and open your palms. With a good twist. If you want, you can go a little further, taking your shoulders back so that you open your chest more. Release. Come back into downward dog, other mukshmanasana. Inhaling and exhaling here. A little walk, bending your knees alternately. Now take your one leg, maybe right leg first. Bring it back up into three legged dog. Bend your knee, heel to the opposite butt. Release. Other leg, lift way back up. Exhaling here. Try to push your chest to your thighs. Bend your knees. Heel to the opposite back. Relax. Put the feet on the floor. Bend your knees. Now here we do a little cat cow pose. So I am on my own force. My wrist is right under my shoulders and my knee under my hip width apart. Exhaling. Now, cat pose. Inhaling. And give a good curve and look up. That's the curve. Then, exhaling, chin to chest. Look up. Last time exhaling, chin to chest. Look up. And gently sit back. Your back to your heels and stretch your arms and relax here. Stretch your bed, open your legs as wide as you can. Inhaling, lift your palms, arms up, and gently try to get a tilt, taking your hips way back. Try to get a tilt from your hip area and gently come forward. If you want, you can walk forward. Come as far as you can. Yeah. Come forward as far as you can.
See where you can let go. Relax your body if you can. Relax your forehead. Relax your jaws. Inhale and with every exhale, come down a little more. Inhale in. Come up. Take your right arm up, inhaling, exhaling, see, shave your spine now. And look up, see that you open up your chest. If you can, with the other hand, take hold of your feet and stretch to the other side. Open up your chest. Now, I bend my right knee and my heel tuck under my left groin, Janu Shishasana. One leg open and other leg heels inside your groin. Inhaling, come on. Exhaling, go forward as far as you can. Try to get the chin. Can try to get the chest to your thighs. Yeah. Keep coming forward. Inhale. Come up. And relax. Now with the same leg, the leg which was bent crosses over the other leg. Yes. And my opposite elbow comes outside the knee. And inhaling, lift my chest up and I spiral around. Looking back over my shoulder. Now, just an open twist. The leg which is crossed, same leg holds the ankle. Inhaling, lift and look back. Stay with your breath here. Simple inhalation and exhalation. Now the opposite leg, heel, touches the other groin, opposite groin. Inhaling, lift my arms, exhaling, chest to your thighs. Keep coming as far as you can. Yeah, keep coming forward. Inhaling, come up and relax your arms. Now the leg which was bent crosses over the leg which is stretched. And my opposite elbow comes outside my thigh, knee. Inhaling, so you can keep your hand here or here, wherever you feel comfortable. Inhaling, lift up, exhaling, I look back. Over my shoulder. See where you can release. Relax your jaws, relax your forehead. Put a gentle smile on your face. Release. Open twist. The same arm holds my ankle. Inhaling, I lift up. Exhaling, look back.
release. Both my legs stretched. Inhaling. Stretch my arms up. Exhaling. Go forward. Try to touch your toes if you can. And try to get your chest to your knees. See that your legs are straight. If not, you can bend your knees a little. The beginners can bend your knees a little and go down. So the stretch here would be chest to your thighs. With that, you get more stretch. Inhaling. Come up. And relax. Now gently go on the sideways. And from your right side. Lie down. Take the support of your both your palms from your side. Lie down. Have strength stretch. If you want, you can keep both the knees bent or one knee bent and other leg stretch. Keep your neck relaxed. If you need support, take a support of a pillow under your neck and gently press it or cross it over and hold it. See where you feel the stretch on the outside of your leg if you stretch it sideways. And try to get that leg towards your chest. So that's the opening of this area, stretching. Or if you stretch straight, it's the hamstrings, your calf muscles stretching. Yeah. Release. Other leg. So hold it on your outside, your knees, your shins, your ankles, wherever you are comfortable. And get it to the opposite side a little to feel the stretch outside your leg. Release. Now here we go into happy baby pose. I catch hold of my out feet from either inside or outside, bending my knees, pushing my knees towards the floor. I feel a very good release all around my neck and head, and a gentle rocking of my body. If you feel that, gently rock your body. See how, how much you can take your knees to the floor. That will give you more opening and more relaxed. Gently stretch your legs and go into Shavasana. Now see, find your comfortable position into this Shavasana. No, no. Everyone be in the Shavasana. Be in the Shavasana. Lie down on your back. We'll do a few minutes of Shavasana. Open your palms to the ceiling. Your legs relaxed. Very loose. Your body is loose. Close your eyes gently. Or if you feel like, keep your eyes open. However, see how you feel comfortable here. Let the thoughts come and go. Gently, now get your focus on your breathing. How your belly rises with every inhalation. And how it relaxes with every exhalation. And and exhale. Yeah. 
your toes. If you want, you can check in moment or touch your toes. Relax your feet muscles, ankle muscles. And release the muscles over there. Take your focus to your calf muscles. Thank you.